Hey guys, it's Steph from Daz with another animation tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to focus on two things. One, putting an animation on a Genesis 8 male figure. And two, cleaning up the animation, leveraging the timeline and the graph editor tool. Let's get started. First of all, let's make sure we have our Genesis 8 figure loaded into our scene. Then let's go to our animations in the Smart Content tab and select the animation to apply. I want to give him a kicking animation, so I'm going to double click to have it applied. As you can see, that animation loads in at the bottom of my screen in the Animate 2 tab. Let's play it through. Looks pretty good. What I want to do is right click down in the gray area and click on Bake to Studio keyframes. Then click Yes. Then let's come into our timeline, and you can see that it's created all the keyframes in our timeline. Looks pretty good, but I want him to kick a little bit higher, and I want to exaggerate that motion. So I'm going to click right here and drag up to give myself more real estate. And I want a lot of room on my graph editor, so let's move that one up as well. If you work on two screens, this is where I would suggest undocking this and having it on its own screen. So first, what I want to do is I'm going to select the hip right here. Come into Properties, and then into General Translate Rotation. And I'm going to be changing the X Rotate right here. With this selected, I can hit right here, and then it's going to zoom in on the curve of anything that you have selected. I want to get to the peak of the curve right here. And I'm going to select this, and I'm going to move it down some. So let's zoom out just a little bit. I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to pull it down a little bit. As you can see, his left leg is coming off the ground, but we're going to fix that in just a minute. So I'm going to select all of these nodes right here, and I'm going to hit the minus button. As you can see, that automatically makes a nice clean curve all the way down to that node. Now let's zoom out, and I'm going to select the left thigh. Then come down to Properties, and go to General, Transforms, Rotation, and click side to side. Now let's zoom out a little bit because we're going to take this node and move it up so his foot stays where it was originally. Then we're going to select all the nodes and click minus again. Let's play it through. As you can see, his leg will now stay down on the ground. Last thing I want to do is select his right thigh, open up the properties, and go to rotations again, and then click side to side. And this one I'm going to bring down a little bit to really exaggerate that movement. And again, I'm going to select all of these nodes and hit minus. And do these ones as well. Let's play it through. And I'm going to bring this back down now. We don't need it. As you can see, we get a much more exaggerated kick. Looks great. As a reminder, we just applied an animation to our Genesis 8 figure and refined it leveraging the timeline and graph editor tool. Thanks as always for listening.